so welcome guys to a new season, a new game, a fun game, F1 2020, and um, we are going to start the career mode on this game. I'm going to do the my team career because it seems more interesting, and <clears throat> I kind of got bored of the driver career in the previous game, so I'm going to do the my team career. Um, it will take a while to like. This this would just be like the part zero, I guess. Welcome to my team. Here, you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. <laughs> first things first, let's choose your character. I've already chosen my character from starting the game up the first time, so. Great. Yeah. Now, let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? <laughs> that should be the team name. Uh, racing? Motorsport? Mm. Motorsport, I guess. Or racing team. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Nice. Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. And this has the biggest out of like everything, like it has the biggest goal bonus and has the biggest weekly income. But that's the most expensive, so maybe I can go slingshot fuel. Just earn 15 constructors championship points in a season? Easy. <laughs> it should be easy if I'm scoring like one point every race maybe, but yeah. Some like that. Fantastic. Now we've got a budget to work with. <laughs> Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. So 73, so I might go with Ilot. It's 1.5 million, but whatever. No extra cost. Maybe I'll go with the Renault, because no one goes the Renault. I want to go different. Um, so, I guess I'll go the red Looks like we can afford this power unit okay, good. and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you have it. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. So, Equinox, Reno, and Kylum are lots with the ASP Racing team. <laughs> it's personal reasons why I've named myself that team. Let's select or edit the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. <laughs> I might change the livery for something like Monaco, like a special race maybe. So like that, yeah. Or even change my helmet like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Change livery. See, at number 15, like I used in every other career past 2018. So 2018 is the first game I used, number 15, so I didn't even, <laughs> I did more league races on that game than career. I enjoyed league racing so much in 2018, and I still do. Um, I like green and red and blue the most as the colours, which is the same as my helmet, so like, maybe I can do that. <laughs> I like a light green, sort of. Oh, that's too bright. And maybe the red... Dark red? <laughs> what would this one be actually? I don't know. Oh, that's just the sides. Okay, well. <clears throat> what would mix the most of that? Let's see. I guess... Oh. I guess I could just make a blue here. Alright, cool. Or oh, maybe, maybe the green will... Maybe the green should be a bit darker, actually. That's better, I think. <laughs> that looks a bit better. I think the, 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 the dark, darker green looks... Yeah, that looks better, I think. I'll go with this. Team badge select, here we go. Maybe, maybe this? And an emblem. <laughs> LOL 70, what the hell. Um. <laughs> well, 
A. A for ASP. Okay, well, I'm going to do that then. There's an A for ASP there. Not bad. Last but not least, we need to pick team colours for the rest of our branding. You'll see these colours throughout HQ. <coughs> what colour? What's team colours like? Oh, okay, okay, like the, 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 the thing that is on the leaderboard, I would assume? Well, green, obviously. I'll go with green. Like the same green we're doing. The same green we have in the livery. Well, I'll, I'll try my best. Okay, I'll do that. What the? Why was that not there before? What the hell? I did not even see that. Uh, sorry. Peter says, oh, yeah, everything off. Okay. So, yeah, that's the settings I want. Start session. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hey, we're live in five, oh, okay. Four. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ. Oh, that's Will Buxton. That's Will Buxton. Okay. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade amongst their number Mana, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out though as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team though is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? <sighs> Williams. No, um... Alpha is not that good in there. <clears throat> I'll go Alpha, I guess. Alpha Romeo, that is, not Alpha Tori. <laughs> How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Making the car responsive as possible where there's a lot of downforce in the Renault, so I think, yep. Yeah. I think maximizing traction though. I don't know. I think we won't know it, yeah. I think we won't know it until you get out on track. The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? ERS, fuck, I don't know. <clears throat> ah. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Okay, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Well, that was fucking long. Jesus Christ. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on.
When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? These are actually like the thing is powertrain of the engine, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so there is my engine. But oh, damn. Durability. Oh look at that livery. Wow. I like the colours though of the, the suits even uh the team colours. That's not bad. Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Cool. The F1 theme plays when my livery is revealed. <laughs> Epic stuff. I like that. That's some cool stuff. Leaky resources. <laughs> well, let's go to the race weekend then. I will do that in the next part. So see you then. This is part of like the one part. Part zero. I'll just edit it, I guess. So I'll see you then for season one, round one in Australia.